everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today I'm looking at Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 at the end lets us know that everything that God created was good. It was very good. But by the time we get to Genesis chapter 6, we find out everything is bad and it's very bad. God looks down and there's, he sees all of the wickedness and the evil in the earth and man's thoughts were evil, he says, continually. God repented that he had made man. He was sorry. It grieved him at his heart. It broke his heart. So he decided that he would have a flood that would kill every living thing on earth. He was starting over and starting fresh, but Noah walked with God. And Noah walked, had found favor. He found grace with God. And so God decided to tell Noah to build an ark. And it would save he and his family and the animals that he would instruct Noah to put on this ark. And so this is what I want to focus on, is that Noah walked with God. Noah had an option here to build this ark and save his family. And he had a, ch a chance that he could move on. They could live. They could have everything that God purposed for them. They could move forward and not be destroyed with every other living thing and not suffer the wrath of God. But in order for them to continue on, in order for them to get what God had for them, they had to be willing to do something. And, you know, they had family. They had friends. They had neighbors. They had property. They had a home. There were things that, you know, Noah was used to, a routine that he had. There was things that he had obtained, things he had worked for, things that he did on a daily basis. There were people that he knew, people that he spoke to, people that knew him. He had to be willing to give up his routine, give up his things, give up maybe some acquaintances, give up what was normal to him, what was familiar to him, and maybe what was comfortable for him in order for he and his family to move forward and to live. I suggest to you today that sometimes we forget that we can't move forward. Things aren't changing for us because we're unwilling to let go of things and let God remove and destroy, dismiss, and detach us from some people, some places, some things, some habits, some routines, some familiar things, some comfortable things. And he's trying to do a new thing and start you over and start you new with those that he would have you to be with. I suggest to you that we grab hold of this lesson today, that we are not suffering through the wrath of God or destruction or things in our life that we are causing because we refuse to be uh, uh, to, to, to dismiss some things, detach from th some things, and we refuse to allow God to purge us and prune us from some people, some places, and some things. Do you want what God has for you today? Are you willing to trust him that God is trying to save your life and do what is best for you and use you for his glory and bring you into his purposes? If you trust him, then today, would you surrender all to him and let God do in you and through you what he has purposed for you? So the choice we have is to suffer with those that are out of the will of God or be willing to separate from the people, the places, and the things so that we can receive the fullness of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us that we, Lord God, are willing to let go of the things in our life that shouldn't be there, that we are willing to detach and allow you to dismiss us from some situations and some circumstances, some routines and some habits, some ungodly associations and relationships that we may move forward in your purposes and in your plans. We thank you, Lord God, that what you have for us is for us and it's better than what we have for ourselves so we trust you we yield to you and we surrender to you in jesus name amen god bless you don't forget we have a wild movement watchmen on the wall we are intercessors we pray monday through friday 6 a.m eastern standard time on facebook live tony brooke brown on instagram live pastor tony brown and also, there's a telephone number that you can call underneath this YouTube video. But please be blessed in the Lord. Don't forget to share this message with five or ten people that may benefit from it. Share the gospel with someone who's not saved. Minister to somebody who's in need or hurting today. Be a vessel and an instrument that God works through for the uplifting of his kingdom. And don't forget... If you've not subscribed to this channel, to hit the hit the subscribe button. If you want notifications when I upload videos, hit the bell. And if you've already done so, thank you and God bless you all. I'll see you next time.